Hey guys, so I'm talking Team Boys again, and today we're in a weekly countdown for Gear Chronicle. At least I'm not late this time. Okay, I am late, but not as much as last time. I hope so. I'm still recording this, so I don't know if I'm lazy. Or not. Probably, yeah, but I can try. So, yeah. So, we have some cool review today, and... This week has been the week for premium for me, in my opinion, because this week I've been like switching mine about Gear Chronicle and premium. You guys will see my idea soon. And yeah, so let's get right into the card, shall we? So, our first three card, three card, yes, it'll be easier for me because we have so many review, and these are more kind of like eh, right, Sheen? So, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so let's get started. So our first card is a grade 3 with 13k power with no imaginative. His skill is on auto on V. When placed, this unit gains 10,000 power. Okay. Rear guard, when your vanguard is placed, one of your vanguard and this unit get 5k. I mean, it's a common, so I kind of let that through. It's not that good though. Um, For the grade 2, you have Steam Fighter Ahani. So her skill is act on rear guard once per turn, kind of last one, buying a card from your hand, choose one of your opponent rear guard in the front row and put into the bottom of the deck. Call a steam expert Sarik, so the card that I just mentioned, uh, from your drop zone and call it to rear guard. If you have a uh, steam knight meme on rear guard, you may ride it instead of calling it. I mean, that's an okay skill, but you need to have it already in the drop zone, and it doesn't give you any imaginary gift. So the only thing it gives you is that uh, ride great to before your opponent. Eh, it's not that good, but it's a, a common, so I mean. So our last card is Steam Fighter and Meme. Auto on R once per turn when your vanguard is placed, draw a card, and then discard a card from your hand. If you discard a great deal or greater, do you your unit get 5k until the end of the turn? That last that that skill is pretty good, so I mean in my opinion the only good of all these three are great one. The great two and great three is pretty eh. But yeah, that's my talk about um these three cards. So let's get to our next card. So our next free review is just extra and then we'll go to the two cards that actually have these that has uh, skill. So these extra are the perfect guard grade one, which perfect guard grade one. <laughs> uh, we have the grade zero, which kind of look kind of cool. And the most disappointing thing, the heel trigger is not Uluru, which will have disappointed me. And let's get to the next card. So our next card is Steam Mechanic Nabu. When I first saw this card. I was like really happy with it. <coughs> this card and the great one before I show you guys, uh, it's actually the reason. Uh, it's actually my plan of thinking of making Gear Chronicle and Premium, uh, make it good and actually work out pretty well. Until yesterday, where a new card I review and my plan for building a premium deck for Gear have broke, and. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be playing the other one if I have enough money. Uh, because I need to build the best gear deck, so I guess I need to do it. Probably will do it. I hope I can do it. <laughs> but let's read the skill. So she she is a grade two with 10k power. Her skill is auto on rear guard when attack a vanguard cost buying a card from your drop zone, and your opponent cannot call grade one or greater. From his or her hand until the end of the battle. At the end of the battle, you put into soul and draw a card. So what I did is replace. Uh, uh, I I run this at three, and then I run the grade one at three. The grade one helped with the consistency because I kept draw and, and discard. And in Harris's turn, when Harris is right back, I discard a grade three to give five k to three unit. So that's how my plan worked. But then with this new grade, uh, but then the grade two. I just call it as like a pressure for your opponent to, to force score with critical, with a trigger, 
All this attack will go through, and then at the end of the battle, it will go to someone draw a card. What I did is I boosted it with transit, and then when it attack finish, it go both go to the soul to draw two card, and then attack with Avenue, and then I can call the those without wasting any rear card. So that's another cool thing. But then, with a review of a certain card yesterday, um, that's a much better build now. So yeah, life is a tough place. <laughs> so. Let's get to the last card of today and the most hype card. Okay, see you guys in the next scene. Oh, our last card today that broke my premium pan is Interdimensional Dragon Mystery Flare Dragon. So auto on Vanguard one place activate all of the other all of the effect below according to the sum of grade of the face of card in the bind zone. Three or more, this unit get plus one drive. 7 or more, it gains plus 1 crit. 13 or more, 6 of your unit gain 10k. And 19 or more, at the end of your turn, discard your entire hand, and you get an additional turn. You cannot ride during that turn. So, Mystery Freeze is really good in standard, in premium. In premium, everyone is getting a wrong idea, to be honest. Not everyone, like, people like, um, different fight and something like that. He just uploaded a video, I guess, about Mystery Flare. Um, and I can see that he also got the right idea. On that last skill that everyone has been saying, oh, premium is busted, a lot, I don't know why, but some people actually think it's busted because it can do 3 turn with Heritage. That's what I first thought when I actually read the skill, but when you think it more, that's, that, that combo doesn't really work because you ride into a Mystery Flare. And then you need to discard your entire hand. So next turn, if you want to strike into heritage, you need to luck sack your way through like a protagonist to draw a great three. And to be honest, even with uh some people say, oh, you need to add in Gise, and then um you need to bind great so it will be easier. But then your trigger power is also gone. Uh, your attack gear chronicle always do tiny poke. Hypnosis sheep is not helping you then. That is not going to be an effective tur 3 turn, even if you can do 3 turn, it doesn't gonna matter if your attack is going to be just so little. So, but the real combo, which is actually really good for Gear Chronicle, is the Gizei combo, not the combo with Heritage, but the Gizei combo. <coughs> you basically, you basically, um... Ride into Mystery Flare, then Ultimate Strike, so just call another Mystery Flare to get into Gize. And then, because Mystery Flare skill, because you already have 20 grade, because you bind 4 Serial Dragon, 5 Serial Dragon, and 4 times 5 is 20. Um, it said activate all the effects, so it doesn't say, oh, your Vanguard gained this skill, oh, this card gained this skill. No, it doesn't do like that. It just said activate all these effects below and then the 19 or more is at the end of your turn it doesn't need this card to be on van at that time so what you can do is um i don't know how would you do this maybe you can write mystery flare call a rear guard and then superior ride or you can just ride into mystery Flare, ultimate shrine to kise and you still can activate the effect you discard your entire hand then you get an additional turn, and Gizei ruling is when at the start of your turn, you deal five damage, you do one damage for each Serial Dragon. So that's that's the reason why Gear Premium is, I wouldn't say busted because, um, at most you can do this is Stride Two. I have not played a single game playing testing this deck, that deck, that you can go for first stride because Gear is not. Really, to be honest, gear doesn't like check top, doesn't search for trigger. So, you basically need to lock sack your way through and hope you got four, five trigger. But other than that, you, your result of getting Gizei is immediate, that's why it's good. I might do a deck profile on it if I have money. <laughs> if not, 
I mean, I could do like a regular CTB deck with some support. But um, I would do, I'll probably do a combo video of what you say tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow. I need to upload the introduction video for Royal. Um, I guess you guys comment down below which one you want to see more a combo video with Mystery Flare or a introduction video for Roy Pudding. If you guys don't answer by tomorrow, I guess I'll just I'll just go to a generator. I just I'll flip a coin. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's flip a coin. <laughs> uh, where's my coin? Um Okay. I found coin guys. Um so if it is head, I go for mystery player. If it is tail <coughs> I go for uh Royal Party introduction. It's head, mystery flare. So Royal Party introduction video will be Tuesday or Wednesday. So See you guys in the next video. Bye!